Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to show you a quick tour of my craft room. Um, since we moved from Washington to Arizona, here we go. So let's get started. This is where the work happens. So obviously these are my two work tables um, where I do all the creating here and I have my amazing paper cutter and all the tools that I'm going to need, um, why I think I need seven rulers, I have no idea, but I do have quite a few rulers. A boatload of scissors, lots of tape, um, adhesive, keep my punches on my table now for easy access, especially the ones I'm going to use quite a bit. I have some fabulous little projects that were gifted to me by some of my scrapping friends, the lovely Jenny Nimchek and the amazing Annette Green. So under this first cube right here, I, this is the stuff that I use all the time. Like my scoreboard, I have an extra little paper trimmer in case I need to cut small little slivers. And then the cubes down here are projects that I'm working on right now for upcoming classes. Um, so that's what those are all for. Here's my fun little recycle bin. <laughs> so as you go over here, then I've got kind of the same setup over here. I do have my, I keep my big shot here. I do keep my graphic 45 tag dies right next to my big shot because I use them all the time. I got some punch boards here, craft map, um, another scoreboard, big giant jar of washi tape, some more twine and stuff down there, and some um, little tape to hold down the dies and stuff. And then over here, I have two rolling carts that have lots of jars in them and looks like a salsa bean, but <laughs> all of my embellishments, I've got buttons, I've got... Um, Letter tiles, I've got Nouveau crystal drops, I've got brads, I've got paper clips, I've got pearls, eyelets, all kinds of good stuff, embossing powders, sequins, charms, you name it, it's probably in there. So those just roll back out of the way so they're not so obtrusive. So over here is where I have this whole unit is filled with Crafter 45 and solid cardstock. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is gonna be my storage tip for you. It's not really a storage tip, but I'm counting it as a storage tip. These are all my Grava 45 patterns and solids, and I opted to store them this way so I couldn't see the name of the collection. And my reason for that is because I have so many patterns and solids and I wanna make sure that I utilize them. So what I've been doing is I've been taking a collection, a graphic photograph collection, and just walking over here and finding one that matches. If I need a green for a holiday thing or Halloween, I'm going to find a green that matches what I want to do. And it's a great way to use up all those extras. As you can see, I have quite a few of patterns and solids from different collections that I've taught classes from where I've always thought, well, I have to order, you know, this many amount of this because it goes with that collection. Graph, that's the beauty of Graphic 45. All their solids go with several collections, not just the one it's named for. So then all this row right here are gonna be my uh, deluxe collector's editions. They might be partials or they might be full sets. Over here are individual 12 by 12 collection packs of all the Grass 45 collections. These are all individual 12 by 12 papers <clears throat> from when I've taught classes and I've had extra stuff left over. So I've, and I've got some stuff coming up, so. And then the bottom one is full of the Magic of Oz Deluxe Collector's Edition for um, an upcoming class. <clears throat> so then what I did is I utilized clear bins, which um, before I never did, and I'm so glad that I, <laughs> I did it. And I decided to do this again. I, because I can take these out and set them on the desk, but I can just thumb through what I want, what I want to find. I just have all the graph board of chi 45 chipboard here that's never been opened right here. Um, these are the journal cards, and in the back I have the um, pockets and tags, and again, these just can slide right off the tray, and so these have not been opened. I have some staples here, some of their little alpha tags, the little baby mini albums, and the matchbook box. These are Graphic 45 12 by 12 paper pads when they still had paper pads, um, right there, and then on the bottom are Graphic 45 stickers, and check this out. Have you seen that one for a while? Don't think so. I forgot I even had that one. 
<laughs> so again, here are my eight by eight paper pads. Again, I've got them in the tray so I can just pull them out, thumb through what I need or what I'm looking for. Some more um, Graphic 45 boxes. Again, more Graphic 45 eight by eight paper pads. More Graphic 45 eight by eight paper pads. Oh my God, I have problems, don't I? Let me check this one out. Love it. I love it all. And then down here, I have the six by six. Before they came out with the 12 by 12 patterns and solids, I had six by six patterns and solids. And so that's what's in there. Some more uh, staples boxes. Again, more journal cards. I can just pull them out, thumb through, find what I'm looking for, and stick them back in there. But I can physically see what I've got. Now this tray has, again, more chipboard and more um, pockets and tags, but these are ones that have been use like i've got pieces missing out of them so those are all in this tray again some more graphic 45 albums and such in this box i have all the graphic 45 tags and flowers are on there and that's why it's got the cute little graphic 5 label i have some 12 by 12 solid cardstock black and white down there some more eight and a half by 11 cardstock i haven't opened yet and then obviously along the top just a few <laughs> i have another tub full uh just a few Projects from that I've done for Graphic 45, my beautiful granddaughter in the middle, and the lovely Diane Schultz and the gorgeous Annette Green right there. Um, so those are just some projects there. Over here, I've got some cute little tags and little things that people have gifted me. I've got a fabulous tag by Annette and one by Maggie. Another cute little tag by Jenny Nimchek. And look at this cute little thing. Kim Russell did this, super cute. So just some cute little things there. I got my mini inks here, some oxides, extra magnets for class kits, jar ribbon. I got a big old jar back there for more ribbon, which is going to be a work in progress. I have solid card stocks and other design papers in these racks right here. So that's where I do the work. As you can see, I do have a few things on the wall. I have a banner over there and um, the big giant tags there. So then, um, when I get ready to shoot a video, this is the beauty of my new craft room, we just can open up and come into the other half of my room. Don't you love it? I love it. It took some finagling, but yeah. So, uh, these little closets, um, I have another uh, Ikea Calax unit in here. Got my glue guns, an extra light, some scotch tape, my Cricut mats are up here, uh, a couple of projects, and I have um, other 6x6 paper pads from other companies are in here. I've got some punches, you know those kind that don't fit, and the, they have this little thing. Those are in there. Um, I've got my chipboard in here. I have some more Graphic 45 um, kits and stuff that I need to go through. Down here I have my score tape and down here I have um, note cards and envelopes sets. So over here, again, is that same unit, but it's laying down on the side. I have my Cricut, my die cut machines, the plates, some embossing folders, and um, some stamps and dies. Again, I utilize the clear bins. Um, as some of you do know, I am a lawn pond girl. <laughs> so this is all my little stamps and dies right here. Solid card stock. Some more projects that I did for Graphic 45. Um, some more, um, my cute little camera from when I was like in the sixth grade. Some more uh, papers are in there from other companies. A big old box of flowers from several companies. And then again over here, some more projects. I kind of put the lighter pastel color projects in this room to go with my cute little pink pineapples. <laughs> and uh, some cards using little darlings. And then over here again, I have some dies from Island Hall that I'm working on. I got some little metal embellishments. Some more little projects I created. My super cute little bag that Annette Green made for me. And in here, I have projects that I'm gonna be working on pretty soon, but I kind of separated them already. And then this is a cute little cart that I got and it holds all of my Copic markers. So anything that has to do with stamping and coloring, that's all gonna be in here. 
my inks and envelopes and little action models and all that cute stuff. And then I have just a couple of bags over here in the corner. My crafty bag and my magnolia bag and my mercantile bag. So there you go. And this is the table where we're just going to do all the filming right here. Well, obviously, except for this video. Because I got the, the main man behind the, behind the camera. So there you have it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed my tour. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.